I was in a place where, you know, I wasn't very excited about life. In fact, I was having a lot of doubts if I ever wanted to continue living because it seems that I didn't find my purpose. It seems that it was very not purposeful at all. Hi, my loves, welcome back. Today, I want to share with you how I manifested how I became more spiritual doing yoga for manifestation and how yoga for manifestation has helped me to manifest the life of my dreams. Now, the biggest problem that I see when it comes to law of attraction is that most people are trying to do all of these different types of law of attraction techniques such as scripting or writing or you know incantations in the morning, all of these different things. But there is the biggest problem that I see with these people is that they are no they are not absolute aligned. And what I mean by absolute aligned is there might be some lack in their alignment. Like for example, maybe their mind is not aligned with their actions or their actions is not aligned with their emotions. Just to give you an example, let's say for example every morning you wake up and you say I want to be abundant, I want to be financially free, I am financially free, I am wealthy, I am rich, all of these different things. That is in the morning. What happens through the day? Maybe you go to a very nice restaurant and you say okay I want to treat myself. But when you're looking at the menu you start seeing the prices and they're not quite affordable for you instead of choosing the highest right the one that you actually free feel that you would like to you end up choosing another option that is more affordable to your pocket now do you see how you're not completely aligned with those incantations that you did in the morning so this is one of the biggest problems that I see when it comes to manifestation is not being absolute aligned. Now, how does yoga for manifestation help me to get the life of my dreams? Now, before I even start this video, I just want to share with you guys that when I started my life, well, not when I started my life, but a couple years ago, I was in a place where you know, I wasn't very excited about life. In fact, I was having a lot of doubts if I ever wanted to continue living because it seems that I didn't find my purpose. It seems that it was very not purposeful at all. And so at that moment when I felt that I needed more to this life, I decided to take a leap of faith. And after this leap of faith, I ended up being all the way in India where I emerged myself into a yoga boot camp, I would say. And the reason why I say boot camp because it was very, very tough. I used to do yoga from 6 a.m. in the morning, three hours in the morning, three hours at night time. And then during the day I had to do more practice for me to be able to get different asanas. Now, let me tell you something, I had, I, I never, I've never had experience in yoga at that point. I've never had done yoga in my life at all. I, I thought that yoga was just easy where you would just rest there and chill there, but apparently that's not how yoga is. Actually, the, the true yoga. And why do I say the true yoga? It's because nowadays we see a lot of different yogas out there and they are very um, commercialized. Like they're yoga with donuts or yoga with, um, I don't know, all of these different things. And so when I talk for yoga for manifestation, what happens in yoga for manifestation is that we are made of different chakras, right? We have different chakras within our system. Now, most of the people out there talk about the, the major chakras, but m not many people talk about our minor chakras. So what we do in our yoga for manifestation, we unlock the minor chakras and yeah, you have a little, <laughs> You have a little minor chakra in your toes and what we do we start from our feet all the way up to our head which is our crown chakra and we start unlocking all our minor chakra we work to work into our minor chakras to unlock them we go all the way up here into our neck which will connect 
to your third eye. So there are so many things that happens to a session in yoga for manifestation and imagine I have was training yoga for manifestation for 45 days at that point. Now I've trained yoga for manifestation for over three years now and I completely can, can say that my life has changed so, so much. Now you might be questioning, okay Angela, how did it change, what happened and all of these different things. Well, let me tell you, the first thing that um, it changed was my finances. Um, I used to be very broke and not knowing how to manage very well my finances and being in debt and all of these different things. Nowadays, I have the freedom to choose without concerning my pocket what is it that I would like to have. So I have that freedom right now. The second thing is that I have been able to travel around the world i've been able to right now i am in dubai i'm able to travel to dubai i'm able to i have been able to travel all the way to bali i've been able to travel to africa i've been able to travel to china to so many places taiwan there are so many places that i have been able to travel after being to do this yoga for manifestation what else has i manifest well, I think I have manifest my purpose, what is my purpose in life, having more clarity, being able to be uh, a more fulfilled life, for example. And I would like for you to invite you, if you are in that search and how you can get your manifestations faster, how can you get more aligned, how can you even become more spiritual through yoga for manifestation, then I invite you to take a session or, or, or whatever because if you're more into the spiritual aspect and not more not such into the law of attraction aspect then when and how and how i say i became more spiritual uh, when i did yoga for manifestation is because i became more in tune with my higher self i was able to actually um, connect deeper with my body with my mind being able to heal uh, different things uh, and, and, and that helped me to become more spiritual, to become more aware. And that goes hand in hand with uh, law of attraction itself. So I think um, that's how I have been able to become more in tune with myself, being able to become more aware, being able to actually listen and, and obtain that silence in my mind to be able to go into deeper meditations, go into um, more deep, deeper practices. So Yoga for Manifestation has been the biggest tool that I have personally used to become more spiritually and to become more aligned to manifest anything I want in my life. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, if you have learned anything at all, please give me some love, show, us, show me some love and also please hit that subscribe button right there and the little bell sign right there because this year I am dedicated to make weekly videos for you to inspire you to make the best version of yourself guys and last but not least guys remember remember that love is the biggest energy out there is the biggest powerful tool to manifest and go deeper into your spirituality but for guys now namaste